Okay guys, well I wanted to go over some of the combine results. I tried to make sure I got some of it down so we could go over this in the coming weeks as free agency begins as well, which will change the draft picture dramatically. But uh, I wanted to go back to the O-lineman because that is a definite position of need. It, it The O-lineman really got overshadowed this weekend with the, the D-line. The linebacker group looked absolutely fantastic. And, of course, we saw Montez Sweat run a 4 4 one um, Two hundredths of a second faster than Odell Beckham, of all things. I mean, just outstanding. But uh, but at any rate, I did want to go over O-linemen. Not, we can't forget about them because we do need one probably in this year's draft if we don't get things taken care of in free agency. I just had a conversation with a guy who's staying here for Airbnb and is a Packer fan. And we were talking about that, you know, Aaron Rodgers, we've got to protect Aaron Rodgers. He's been beat up the last couple of years and we've got to protect this guy. And uh, so one of the guys that, as you can see right here, that has been on some sort of Packer Nation radar, has been on a lot of mock drafts, uh, is Jonah Williams out of Alabama. Um, and the main concern about him, I do, I've got it rolled, I think, up to where you can hopefully see. This is uh, NFL.com forward slash prospects forward slash Jonah dash Williams. And uh, just for reference, and uh, you're seeing him here, six foot four, 302 pounds. His hands, 10 and an eighth inch. The big knock on Jonah Williams coming into this which unlike a guy like Kyler Murray was not assuaged by his measurements was his arms at 33 and uh, 5 eighths for left tackle in particular in this league teams like to see guys arms a little longer there is a bit of um, correspondence between uh, arms and that 34 inch range and success at the tackle position in the NFL so um, whether that does not preclude Jonah Williams from being a very good tackle in this league, which I believe he will be. And But what it does lead to is the discussion of whether he's a tackler or a guard. And that, to my mind, is pretty important because what do the Packers need? They need a guard. And they also need a right tackle of the future. Jonah Williams began as a right tackle and then switched over to the left. Um, I think, and the, and the Packers have a, the ability, have shown in the past the ability and the desire to draft tackles and make them guards. So, um, unfortunately, I think the way that Jonah Williams performed in, in, the, in the combine, he may not even be available. He may not even be on the board. He may be a top 10 pick uh, after his uh, a drill performance. He was very smooth. His footwork was really nice. And he got an endorsement from one Joe Thomas, who any of you Scanies out there will recognize, and most people who watch NFL football will. Um, Joe, Tom Joe Thomas uh, gushed over Jonah Williams's form. And I have had him, uh, as you've noticed, if you've been paying attention to the uh, draft tracker matrix that I've been running, um, he's floated to the top of the board for us at 12 many, many times. And after the combine, he may be actually out of reach at this point. I've seen him go as early in simulations as early as number three to the New York Jets, who are looking to protect their franchise quarterback. Um, and it would not be it would not be surprising at all if the Jets don't see Jonah Williams as a guy who can protect uh, Sam Darnold for the future. So. At any rate, let's go over some of this. And I do have a little tape cut up that I wanted to do as well. Um, his prospect grade, I'm not going to really talk about, but I did want to quickly go over his numbers. His 40 yard dash, a 5 1 2, that's you know, respectable, but not astounding um, at his height and weight. Bench press 23 reps, perfectly fine. Uh, vertical jump at 28 inches, that's fairly explosive for a guy as big as he is. Um, unfortunately, this year, if you look at the defensive side of the ball and what guys bigger than Jonah Williams are doing on the defensive side of the ball, uh, it's, it's, it kind of becomes overshadowed. <laughs> and uh, so at any rate, 100 inches in the, uh, in the broad jump and, the, and 801 in the, in the uh, three-cone drill and a 479 shuttle. Um, 
nothing it's funny because and i've had people talk about you know movement in the combine it's much easier to drop in the combine than it is to become a riser now if you're a montez sweat and you run a 441 you're going to move if you are dk uh metcalf and you run a 431 or a 433 i forget which which the official was um you're going to move up but as far as you know guys that are expected to be good and are good and just kind of test out where you're expected jonah williams is basically tested out as he ex expected his drill work though i thought was quite good and so he may move up on account of his his drill work rather than his numbers but his numbers are are all fine uh, other than again that that arm length i think you know if you're the new york jets and you're looking at a number three pick uh, that arm length might factor into it because he may project better as a right tackle than a left tackle. Um, but if he drops to number 12, I think the Packers have to be ser seriously consider him. Um, at this point, though, with the way the defense performed, I, to some extent, I became, I don't know if I haven't, I haven't really, no, everything hasn't settled out, but if these, uh, you know, the right now as I'm recording this, the uh, the defensive backs are going, and if those if they perform well, I might be very much for back-to-back uh, -back defensive players in the first round. Um, but at any rate, let's go ahead with this set and kind of the background on him and a little bit of that. Let's go to the tape and talk about how he tested out. All right, I'm going to switch over here, and we'll be right back. Okay, um, here we have Jonah Williams at the combine getting ready to do the kick slide drill. He basically, the quote unquote defender is running the cones, is basically running the cones as hard and fast as they can. And what they're looking for is technique. And secondly, how long the offensive lineman can hang in and stay squared up before they have to open their hips and turn and run. So in this drill, a lot of times you see the guards quickly having to turn and run to keep up. Uh, and bear in mind, these are not edge defenders that are, are actually running these cones right now. So they just use the other linemen. So they're not going to be as fast either. But what you see out of Williams, and it'll go fast the first time around and then they slow it down here. What you see out of Williams is, number one, he gets he gains a lot of ground on his very first uh step and a lot of times technically speaking their second step could take them into the quarterback so uh it's good to see williams and actually joe thomas raved about his first step gotta have the heel outside and then the other thing i like about williams here is he is you'll see it he's able to remain square the entire time uh, so let's go ahead and run it and then we'll chat about it a little bit more and then i'll finish up with just some discussion of Jonah Williams and the Packers in general. All right, so let me go ahead and let this thing run. And you'll see him, he'll get his pad level nice and low. He's got really good form, head still up. And notice how he never had to turn and run until the uh, defender was past the cone. Um, really, really good form. And they're gonna walk this out and then they'll come back. Cause this is where Joe Thomas is actually discussing this. I loved hearing Thomas talk about this. And then they slow it down. Look at how big that, and his heel is outside so that he's able, if he needs to cut back in on a spin move, he's in perfect position. Uh, really well done by Jonah Williams there. All right, well, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I forgot to mention earlier, Andre Dillard also had a, did a really good job on this drill. I think Williams was the smoothest of all. The other thing I didn't mention is that uh, Joe Thomas did. Notice how his head is up and only his lower body moves. Um, that, again, is perfect form for a guy that you're hoping can protect your quarterback, the future of your franchise. Now, again, there are some question marks on Jonah Williams, but this is the guy's a four-year starter. Uh, it's not easy to start as a freshman for Nick Saban. I believe he started on the right side of the line and then was moved to left tackle. But again, on a Packers team that has shown they can convert tackles to guards, I think, because one of the things about our O-line with this zone system that Lafleur is bringing is you want your O-lineman to be athletic. Well, you know, Jonah Williams doesn't test off the charts as an offensive tackle. 
Uh, but as a guard, he would be probably more than athletic enough to get the job done. And then you also have in your back pocket a guy that after a couple years of development or maybe even a year of development, if Brian Bulaga gets hurt, if Brian Bulaga uh, is not brought back, and if Jason Spriggs fails to uh, grow into the position, you may have another right tackle to work until um, to replace Brian Bulaga as well. Uh, again, the question here is, you know, are the Jets going to be looking at him seriously at three, or is it going to be a little, with his arm length, is that going to be too much of a problem? Raiders are at four, uh, Buccaneers at five, and then again, you've got, you know, the Giants at six. Um, so will he get all the way to, you got the Denver Broncos with some quarterback issues, uh, Will he get all the way to 12 at this point? Um, I don't know. But if he does, I think this would be a, a, a good play for the Green Bay Packers. Obviously, we've seen him pop up in you know a million draft boards, and you've seen him pop up numerous times as the best player available in our simulations. Uh, so let me know what you think. Would you want to take him? Again, I've been watching the defense and uh, have been so just overwhelmed by the defense. They're stealing the show right now. And it has me leaning toward back-to-back -back defensive picks. But uh, Jonah Williams, you know, we've got to protect Aaron Rodgers, or I don't think it matters how good our defense is going to be. So um, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, lots of good things coming up. I appreciate you listening to this one, watching this one. I hope it was clear enough for those who had to listen to it in audio. I'm going to cut this one up into audio. I tried, tried to do that on the last one and had a little bit of an issue, but I think I've got it ironed out. So I hope you guys have a great week. It is Monday as of right now. I'm going to switch over to uh, paying attention to what is going on right now on the Combine uh, with the defensive backs, and we'll get back to you again soon. Go Pack. Packer Nation Worldwide.